dispatch for any. Uh, uh, yes, I actually uh, thought this was the number for the chief of police. Um, is this not? Um, no. Uh, it's just a uh, non-emergency line for the four calls to police. Oh, very interesting. Uh, your website says that it is uh, the chief of police's number, uh, fcgov.com. Yeah, I can uh, forward you up to his secretary, but I can't um, exactly give you right directly to the chief. Oh, that's good. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, if you could do that, that'd be much appreciated. No, okay. Um, her name is Linda Williams, and she's the secretary for him. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Police administration, this is Linda. Hi. Um. <clears throat> yes, hi. Uh, is this uh, Linda Williams? Yes, it is. Why, yes. Hello there. Uh, the name is uh, William Montgomery. I uh, was just referred to you by dispatch. Um, basically, I was trying to get a hold of the chief of police. Um, his number showed up as six five five zero online, but I guess that's just kind of your main line. So. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Um, he's actually out of the office today. Can someone else help you? Uh, possibly. Yes. Well, uh, it, honestly, it's really nice to be able to actually get somebody live for once. Um, I'll be honest. I've been uh, getting voicemails. Uh, le- leaving voicemails a lot. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And so no one ever does give me a call back. But. Um. Okay. So yes. Truth be told. Uh, this is a. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it, but um, uh, I, I think I uncovered a, a, a very big problem in the Fort Collins Police Services Force. Um, and this involves all the way up to uh, Jackie, as well as Jerry Schauger. Um They have all been telling me things to do that uh, I'm finding out are uh, not in line with the internal affairs reporting policy. And so I was basically told I needed to like write things down. Uh, a very long time ago, and um, the types of things I've been trying to report, I have been unable to write down because my brother and I are basically up to our eyeballs with other legal stuff. Uh, We have a lot of other cases uh, that we're having to fight. Um, Mostly winning, too. Uh, uh, It's a a very very long story. Um, But basically, um, in a nutshell, uh, I have... I have, uh, while I have criminal cases um, in the district attorney's office right now for a couple of different charges, um, I've found out that based upon your policy, as well as other, uh, you know, case law, uh, generally speaking, that uh, when it comes to the guilt or innocence, if it's just an opinion, that's not something that can necessarily be, you know, opened up in, a term, in some sort of internal investigation. Uh, but what I'm actually talking about is something a, a whole lot simpler and I'm basically having to try and report that officers of the law, uh, a lot of them, uh, basically don't know uh, Platts or uh, right-of-way law, uh, things like that. And I have a couple case numbers, of basically, okay, stuff like that. Who did, other so. than the chief, who can help you today? Um, do you have an idea? I mean, so, wanna... yeah. Um, so, yeah, my, my concern is I basically left a voicemail for Jackie a couple of weeks ago. And so I, since she, she hasn't given me a call back, I gave her... A little bit more detailed voicemail uh, uh, late last this last week, and, and so. And did you say your first name is William? Oh uh, yeah, that's me, William uh, Montgomery. How do you spell your last name? M O N T G O M E R Y. Oh Montgomery, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, and what is your phone number? Uh, I just got a new one here. Let me pull it up. Um, let's see here. Uh, nine seven zero eight two five four four two one. Okay. All right. Um, well, Jackie is just down the hall from me. I don't know that she's here right at this moment, but she should be today. Um, why don't I go down and talk to her and ask her to give you a call and see if she can help you since the chief will be gone today? Yeah, that's all. I'm, I, uh, I, I, I was just a little worried. Um, I, I, uh, um, I mean, initially I talked to her a long time ago. Um, I, I, I got a lot of the gist across, but then she felt as though it needed to be written down. And so I, I've since left her voicemails of very, very simple concepts, uh, case numbers okay. and stuff like that. So just kind of waiting for her to get back to me. Okay. So I guess... Let me go uh, down and, and ask her to call you. And then if you don't hear back from her by later today, my number is at 2216550. When I'm here, I answer that line. When I'm not uh-huh. here, it goes to dispatch. Okay. So if 
if you want to give that number a call again, and I should be here all day. So if you haven't heard back, give me a call. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. It's, um, yeah, okay. I just, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm in Denver here with my brother. We have a lot of other cases. Um, but there's basically, uh, three or four, um, kind of situations that we've collected, um, with the Fort Collins. Um, and we already have some work that we've had to put through like, uh, appeals, um, for wrongful convictions. And so, um, we're trying to get the left side to talk to the right side, basically. And so, um, okay, well, let me go down and, and so. visit with her and, um, give you a call back. Okay? Sure thing. Yep. And, uh, I, I left All her right. kind of a, um, I don't want to say a butchered email or, or voicemail, but it was, um, it was just limited in time. And so, uh, the, yeah, the goal was really to have her give me a call back so I can finally talk to her live, uh, just to kind of relay some of this information that I can't get written down. So, and, okay, very good. So I, I will go down and see if I can connect with her. Yep. I figured it's not okay. too late. I All really right. appreciate guys. Uh, the Thanks. fact that you answered is really awesome. I've, I've gotten farther oh, with no you problem. now than anything. So like I say, I should, I should be here all day, so let me go down and see if I can track her down. Awesome. Thank you very, okay. very much. All right. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.